OK. We can run a Haskell program, and it can do all kinds of things. And the first question you might ask is, what's the type of the result? Well, let's start much simpler than that. Let's start with some small examples. For example, writing values to a file. There's a function called write file, which will write a given value. There's a, a value, a string, and put it in the file that we want. In this case, it's a text file that I'm going to create. And what does it do? Well, it doesn't appear to do anything. It doesn't return any value at all. Uh, has it actually done anything? Well, if we list the files in this directory, uh, let's have a look. There we have hello world. Oh, it looks like I've got the arguments the wrong way around. Let's do that the other way around. I should have asked about the type, but I don't want to ask about the type just yet. Let's do it that way around. That was probably a bit more sensible. And let's have a look what we've got there. Um, as well as my strange file, I have got this file here. Um, if I have a look at it using the, it does indeed contain hello and then world, and it doesn't actually end on a new line either, which is why the command prompt starts immediately after the file. OK, well, I might have not made that mistake if I'd asked what the type of that thing was. So I can ask what the type of the write file function is. And here you might see a type with some stuff that you don't recognize. The first thing is a file path, and the second thing is a string. How did I manage to get them in the wrong order? What is a file path? Actually, a file path is just a type synonym. It's another name for a type we already have, namely a string. So wherever you see string, you can, if you like, use file path and vice versa. So all it does is give a little bit of documentation about what this function does. It doesn't actually constrain the way you use it. It doesn't stop me from writing the string where I had the file path and the file path where I had the string. That's all very well. But it's a function with two arguments, as you saw. And this is the type of the result. This is the result where, where you saw nothing on the screen. So what does this mean? Well, IO is the type of computations. It's the type of instructions which, if you run the instructions, will interact with the operating system, with the runtime system of GHC, in this case, and potentially produce a result. In this case, the result that I'm potentially producing is the void result, the null, the uh, um, unit type. And so that's not printed on the screen. So there's no, that's a non-interesting result produced by a computation that interacts with the outside world. Okay, So there's a special type for things which interact with the outside world. 